Today, just people, we're going to talk about how unless the Lord builds a city and keeps the city, they labor in vain who keep it. Okay, unless the Lord keeps the house and builds the house, they labor in vain. Okay, what's the house? What's the city? Okay, it's got, the Bible talks a lot in metaphors. Okay, there's physical cities, so basically your country and your city, if God doesn't keep it, they labor in vain that keep it. Okay, uh, also your house, um, your physical house, you know, if you try to lock it and put all your alarms, you know, they labor in vain that keep it. God says if he doesn't keep the house, um, it talks about, we're also talked about as a house um, to the Lord. And so our, our bodies house the Holy Spirit. And so he keeps us. And so we, we keep ourselves by our decisions, but ultimately in the Spirit, God keeps us. And so even with everything that's going on in our country, um, with threats and, and, you know, terrorism and all the uncertainty, remember that we have no fear, though the heavens um, pass away and the earth be removed, okay, God is always with us and we have no fear because he's in as long as we give our life to him he's in control he's in full control and he knows exactly where we are and so remember unless the ha the lord keeps the house they labor in vain unless the lord keeps the city okay they labor in vain that keep it god is keeping us for a reason and he will not destroy and he will not send the ultimate destroyer um until he keeps and takes the church in the rapture remember that God, he says it's going to be it like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and the days of Noah's Ark, okay? He always went and took the righteous before he destroyed. Even Moses said, you know, are you going to, you can't destroy, there's righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah. And so God went and took the righteous out before he destroyed, okay? And so it's going to be the same. He took Noah and his family before he destroyed. He took out the righteous before he destroyed the wicked. Uh, that's what the Revelation says. So if you read Revelations, um, God says, hold on, wait, you know, and hold back. Do not destroy the earth. Do not destroy until I mark the servants in the head. Or, and also um, there's other parts about how he called them up. I mean, that's going to happen in the rapture that he will, he's always going to rescue um, the righteous before he destroys.